So with the endoscope down there by the valves, we can see the valve there. And if I'm, I'm just trying to get like a top down view of the valve stem, it's kind of hard to tell if it's bent. I'm gonna have to take a look at other valves, but it sure is pretty cool to be able to look at the valve like that. Just from first look, it doesn't look like this is bent. So here's the second valve. Uh, it definitely is hard to tell. I mean, there may be a bend in there, but I gotta say, it looks kinda straight. You know what, there may be a bend in there, it is hard to tell. So here are the different angle. I can see a little bit of a curve, I think, on that. It definitely looks like that would be a bent valve. So this is one of these like $15 or less endoscopes. And this thing works great. It just plugs right into the phone. I have an app for it. And this just really is great for like going inside of cylinders and stuff like that. It's come in handy a lot of times. So this is the fourth piston. Cylinder number four, and I gotta say this one definitely looks straight. This valve, yeah, it looks very straight. And if I look on the other side of the cylinder here, it's tricky to move around. It's kinda easy to get lost in there. But right here is the other side and the other valve. And I'd say that one looks straight as well. So this is cylinder number one. I'd say this valve here looks pretty straight, and if I move it over to the other one, this one definitely looks straight, but I definitely think we have a bent valve on cylinder number two. So, from just looking at it initially, it looks like we might have a bent valve on cylinder number two. We'll probably just have to do a leak down test and stuff like that just to diagnose the problem and make sure it's the valves just before we tear everything apart. 